Welcome back to another favorite storytime tales. Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there was a small girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She lived with her parents beside a deep, dark forest. In a cottage on the other side of the forest lived her grandmother. And in the deep dark forest lived a big bad wolf. Grandmother's not feeling well, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother one day. Please take her this cake, but don't stop along the way. So Little Red Riding Hood set off through the deep dark forest. She looked all around. There wasn't a sound. Then, who should she meet but... The Big Bad Wolf. Good day, my dear, growled the wolf with a big bad smile. What are you doing here? Mm, she looks delicious. I'm going, to my, I'm going to grandmother's to take her a cake, replied Little Red Riding Hood. What big teeth! The wolf had a plan. Wouldn't your grandmother like some of these flowers, he smiled. What a good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she stopped to pick a big bunch. Meanwhile, the wolf ran ahead through the deep, dark forest. At last, he arrived at... Grandmother's cottage. I'm hungry, thought the big bad wolf, licked his lips, and he knocked, knocked, knocked at the door. Hello, grandmother, growled the wolf. It's Little Red Riding Hood. That sounds more like the big bad wolf, thought grandmother, and she quickly crept under the bed. The wolf went in. He looked all around, but there wasn't a sound. Then his tummy rumbled. No one's here, he grumbled. Never mind, Little Red Riding Hood will be along soon. It's dusty, he mustn't sneeze. Quickly the wolf put on grandmother's dressing gown and nightcap. Then he hopped into bed and pretended to nap. He he he, he snarled. Little Red Riding Hood will never know it's me. I'm ready for a tasty snack. Soon, Little Red Riding Hood knock knock knocked at the door. Hello, Grandmother, she called. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, my dear growled the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door. Oh, Grandmother, she gasped. What big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear, growled the wolf. And Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, growled the wolf. And Grandmother, what big teeth you have. All the better to... Those teeth remind me of someone. Gobble you up, growled the wolf. But as he leaped out of bed, grandmother's nightcap flopped right over his head. I can't see. Quick, down here, dear, whispered grandmother, and she pulled Little Red Riding Hood under the bed. Just then a woodcutter passed by the cottage. He heard a growling and howling. And he dashed inside. With one swish of his axe, he killed the big bad wolf. The woodcutter looked all around, but there wasn't a sound. And then... Out crept Little Red Riding Hood and Grandmother from under the bed. And 
Little Red Riding Hood said, Mother was right. I'll never stop again on my way through the forest. The End